Hey there internet friends, as you can see I'm back home in Phoenix now, but I've still got a couple more videos that I'm going to do for E3. Uh, yesterday I did my ranking of the conferences, and today uh, I had a lot of free time at the airport because I showed up like eight hours early for my flight. So rather than do an a in-depth video for this one, I actually have a, a pretty lengthy written article up on trevortrove.com. You can find it in the, the link in the description below. Uh, and it's talking about all of the experiences that I had at E3 that really made E3 stand out as, uh, I think, an incredible first E3 to attend. Uh, I talk about the IGN community meet and greet party that I basically went straight to from the airport when I landed on Saturday. I talk about the uh, Bethesda land and all of the spectacle surrounding that event. I talk about the Atomic Blonde IGN party that happened Wednesday night, uh, as well as the shit arcade event that Mike Drucker held, uh, that Greg Miller was a part of, as well as a couple other comedians. And lastly, I gave my impressions on the whole, should E3 be a show open to the public, how was that handled this year? I admittedly don't have something to compare it to, because this was my first E3, but I did kind of weigh in based on my sense of the situation. So I encourage you to follow the link in the description below, go see that, read it, let me know what you think. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey, from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at snarkystarkey on Twitter. And tomorrow I'll be back with one final E3 wrap-up post uh, talking about my top ten favorite games from E3. So tune into that, and after that we'll get back to the normal schedule of weekly shows that I've been trying to do. So until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.